Hello everybody, today we are going to use one balloon to make spinning toy, dreidel. It is very popular uh, Jewish toy and then we are going to use it to make a pyramid. Inflate a balloon leaving about 4 inch flat tail. Let's start by twisting a chain of the first 3 bubbles, make each bubble about 3 inch long. I think it is very interesting sculpture. It was my personal challenge to make a pyramid using just one balloon. While I was uh, pondering about all possibilities, I realized that uh, we can actually use it to make spinning toy, dreidel. I'm very proud of uh, the results of my work and very happy to share it with you in this instruction. And here we have to lock both ends of the chain of the first three bubbles in one lock twist. Then we have to make a chain of the next three bubbles of the same, about three inch size each bubble. There are many ways to make a similar looking sculpture using many balloons. The real challenge is always to use limited number of balloons to make the same sculpture. For example, try to make this pyramid using just one balloon. That is where you get fun trying to figure out how to make it. And here we have to lock both ends of the chain of the last three bubbles in one lock twist. We just have made four corners of our pyramid. Sure it doesn't look as a pyramid yet, but we will get them. Twist the chain of the next two bubbles. Make each bubble about one and a half inch size long. The length of these two bubbles together should be a bit longer than we made the uh, long bubble. Now we have to lock the free end of the eighth bubble between two bubbles at any corner. Let's lock it between the second and the third bubbles. We have to pull the rest of the balloon through the loop of the first three bubbles. The last two small bubbles uh, is the um, inner part of our pyramid. All long bubbles will make the sides of the pyramid. Let's twist the ninth about three inch long bubble. And then we lock the free end of the ninth bubble between two bubbles of the nearest available corner of the pyramid. We have to pull the rest of the balloon through the loop of the other chain of three long bubbles. So far we have made three sides of our pyramid. It is a top view. Now we have to work inside of the pyramid. Twist the small tenth about one and a half inch size bubble. Lock the free end of the tenth bubble between the seventh and the eighth bubbles. We have to pull the rest of the balloon through the loop of bubbles and there is no much room to do it, so be careful, try not to pop any bubbles. I'm going to fix all bubbles in proper positions, so you can get better view of what we just have made. Here's a top view, here's a bottom view. There are only two corners of the pyramid left unconnected. Twist the eleventh about one and a half an inch size bubble. Lock the free end of the eleventh bubble between the say 5th and 6th uh, bubbles. Our sculpture getting the pyramid shape already. Here's the bottom view. And this is the top view. Let's twist the 12th, about 3 inch long bubble. And then we lock the free end of the 12th bubble between the 1st and the 2nd bubbles. We are making a pyramid with a square base. Counting all visible bubbles, each corner of our sculpture is supposed to have four bubbles. So let's make the 13th about uh, one and a half inch long bubble. And then we lock the free end of the 13th bubble at the center between the small bubbles of the base of our pyramid. Right here. And this is the hardest part. There is very little limited space. As the loop of the bubbles is very tight, very small. Uh, nevertheless, we have to pull the rest of the balloon through the loop of small bubbles to make the connection. Take your time, work gently, try not to pop any bubbles. Congratulations, we have made the sculpture. Let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. We have made multi-purpose sculpture. Depends on how you hold the sculpture. For example, if you hold it this way, then you'll get little mushroom or umbrella. Also, we can use it as a base to make many different animal heads. And then if you flip the sculpture over this way, 
then you get a spinning toy. You can use uh, a permanent black marker to draw the signs uh, to make it uh, as a dreidel. To save your time, I have already prepared one in advance. Shalom everyone. Pardon my pronunciation, maybe I mispronounce the word dreidel. And here it is. This um, spinning toy has millennium long history behind and so is the Egyptian pyramid. There are a lot of interesting uh, facts, uh, history and uh, mystery behind the pyramids and the uh, dreidel as well. You can find much more information online and of course you can check uh, your local library if you're really interested in it. And speaking about the pyramid, let's make the pyramid. We just have to cut off the rest of the balloon. You can do it with your hands or use scissors whatever you're comfortable with. Tie off the end of the balloon and hide it between bubbles of the sculpture. As I mentioned before, pyramid is um, one of the basic shapes that we can use to make many different sculptures. Most certainly we are going to use uh, this pyramid in uh, many future instructions to make different, different sculptures. Alright, congratulations again! We have made the pyramid with a square base. And here's the dreidel, the spinning toy. Have fun and happy twisting!